everyone, how's it going? Kim here, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to do a 25 minute kettlebell workout. All you need today is your kettlebell and we will be on the floor slightly, so if you want a mat, grab that. Otherwise, we're gonna warm it up and we're gonna start right here with some hip circles. So push your hip out to the side, draw it back, around, and front. Good, back. Take it nice and slow. Take it to the other direction right here. So push it out, back, and front. Good, and bring it center. We're gonna take those arms, we're gonna swing them back, and then just let them swing up. When you come up, you wanna feel that slight back arch here and stretch out through the lats. Good, inhale, exhale. Good, bring the arms down. We're gonna do a nice low squat. So toes are pointing forward. We're gonna take it down nice and slow. And bring it up nice and slow. Take it down. And up. One more. Good, from here, turn into a low lunge. Give it a little twist here. Really push that hip to the floor. Good, hands to the floor. Step into plank, switch sides. Good, step it forward, come into a little jog. Good, take it into some butt kicks. Bring those heels up to meet your glutes. For three, two, one, plant the feet, open the arms up, cross those arms in front of you. Really open up the chest, open up the back for four, two, and one. Come into some jump jacks right here. Arms out to the side. Ten seconds left. Throw the warm up. We're almost there. Good. Okay. We are going to start with a single hand swing. So start with your kettlebell in front of you, and then step back. Okay, about two feet. Feet are about hip width apart. We're going to be hinging at our hips. Have that knee bent. Roll your shoulder back. You're gonna grab on with one hand, pull the kettlebell towards you, and pop through your hip. All right, we got 15 seconds. So, format today, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We're doing two rounds per exercise. Here we go. Back, 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 back. 
Good, place it down on the floor. We're going to rack it into place and we're just gonna do a push press. So you're going to swing that kettlebell into a clean position. <sighs> nice and strong through the core, slight bend in through the knee, push press. Good, slowly bring it down. Place the kettlebell down beside you now. We are going to do a suitcase deadlift to lunge. Then we're gonna do all that on the other side. Here we go, hinge, nice straight back lift, lunge down to your knee, good. the row. We've got a row and then we're going to do it all on the other side. So we're going to leave that back leg behind us. All right, we're going to stand straight up, hinging at the hips, grabbing onto that kettlebell and row. So pull the elbow back. Good. Drop it to the floor. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. So single hand swing. Here we go. Push press on this side. Deadlift to lunge. Whew. And we're going to learn four new exercises. Hinge it here, keep those knees slightly bent. Lift and lunge. All right, row. Whew. Three. Here we go.
bring it up. We're gonna do a two-handed swing. So start with the kettlebell in the same place you did for the single hand, this time two hands on it. Four new exercises, two rounds, here we go. Take a big wide step out, place that kettlebell in between your feet. We're gonna do a sumo deadlift, clean and sumo squat. So we're gonna hinge it forward, right here. Grab that kettlebell, lift up with a straight back, double hand clean, squat. Good. All right, some gorilla rows, and gobl then we'll do goblet squat, then we'll take it from the top, then we're going down to the floor for three exercises. So kettlebell in between your feet. <sighs> Hinge it, you're gonna row one side, release it, now go to the other side. Lift and release. If you start to feel strain in your back, come up in between those rows and give it a little rest. All right, maybe you need to give those sides a rest too. Or you can stay in this squat position or hinged position. Nice, okay, goblet squat. We're gonna turn that kettlebell over. So, clean, flip it over. Place your hands around the ball. Toes are slightly out. Feet a little wider than hip. We're gonna keep our chest up. Come down nice and slow. Try to get down to those knees. Drive through your feet and lift. Pull your belly in. from the top. Four seconds. Big wide stance. Here we go. Goblet squat. <laughs> Sorry, gorilla row, then a goblet squat. Here we go.
Final standing move. Nice job, come on down to the floor. You want your kettlebell right beside you. All right, you're gonna lie down on your side, then you're gonna roll that kettlebell over and get it into a laying clean. All right, we're going to do a single arm press. So press, release. Press. the other side. Okay, think about pulling that belly in, tucking that tailbone down. Here we go. Press. Let's hold that kettlebell by the ball. And we are going to come into a tabletop position. We're going to crunch and press, bring it down, extend the legs. Are you ready? Here we go. Shoulders off the ground, back to center, extend the legs. Keep that back pressing down. Good, from the top there. The ball keeps hitting my mic. Lift. Two moves to go, then we're gonna stretch. Here we go, push. All right, here we are. Last move. Whew. Tabletop.
my snake goes in sections and dip my papers and stack them. All these words in my games, I miss your bad eyes. You see them, I get them out then. I read them down from a bad man on TV. I'm gonna snake on this plane, I'm spitting up my sin. I'm trying to find the devil. Okay, we're gonna stretch it so we wanna roll over place the kettlebell off to the side and we'll start in a seated position. Come into a cross-legged position, place your hands on your knees, take a nice deep breath in, then tuck that tailbone down and under, arch through your back. Good, and bring it back to center. Then we're gonna walk our hands forward. Slide those fingers back, take your hand to one knee and give it a little twist. Good, take that bottom leg, place it on top, and we're gonna walk it out again. Slide it back and twist to the other side. Good, let's bring those knees together. We're gonna lie down and I warn you, my dog's gonna be all over me to get at that sweat. So we're gonna start by coming into a glute stretch and we're gonna bring one ankle on top of the other knee, bring those knees toward you, grab on behind your thigh, pull your knees toward you. Now extend that bottom leg and pull the toe down, driving your heel up. those legs down roll over onto all fours step one leg through coming into a hip hinge here or hip stretch good Straighten out that front leg just so you can come back and grab onto the other foot, lifting it up, lift your chest. Getting a little more into the quad here. Release that foot, let's take it over to the other side. Release it down, bring it centered, toes are in, heels are out. From here, take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Good, drop that head to the floor, now lift up with a nice straight back. Keeping those arms behind you, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms, shake it out, take a big breath up towards the ceiling. Exhale, those arms down. Great job, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's kettlebell workout. That's it for me today, you take care, and I'll see you on the next one.